Hello everyone, I'm back this time with a surprise which is my phone is now installed with Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0 Well in this video I'll be talking about the keyboard and text input improvements made by Google in Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich Now to prove that this is indeed Ice Cream Sandwich I'll just dive down into the settings As you can see, this is very ice cream sandwich. There's no fake stuff here. And we have Android 4.0.3. I know you can fake this, but that's the only way I can prove it to you. And without further ado, let's take a look at the keyboard. Alright, so as far as multi touch is concerned, it is still the same, it remains multi touch. For the uninitiated, multi-touch keyboard means that you can hold on to the shift button or the uppercase button just like a shift button would and you can input uppercase letters like and the moment you release it, it goes back to lowercase. Of course, if you would like it to be permanently uppercase, you hold the button down for a few seconds until you see it the blue little thing here lights up and everything will be uppercase business as usual and let's take a look at the autocorrect of the new keyboard there's two types of autocorrect in this new Android 4.0 keyboard the first type that I'm going to show you is if you have a typo in this sentence and you would like to change it you can hold long hold the word the word replace comes out tap on it and you have a selection the other type is while you're typing out like you see just now while I was typing there were some things flashing over let's say the quick now the way you operate this you can either hold onto it drag up this will give you a one touch operation you can just select the word let's say quicksand and it comes out quicksand the other type, let's say you would like to have a longer stare at the list of words you can hold and release and you have, you, then you can take your time and look at the list of words let's say quickness All right so let's take it all off the second part of the keyboard that I would like to show you is copy and paste Alright, to copy, no, first of all, to select a word, you long press, long, you tap and hold a word, and first of all, you will see a bunch of things appear. One is you can either replace the word with something autocorrect suggests, or you can paste a word in this place, or you have this new icons up here. The first one is, I don't know, I think maybe confirm. The second one is select all. The second one is, hey, this icon is to cut. This one is to copy. This one is to copy and this one is to paste. The fourth one is to paste. Right now, let's copy copy this word. The word jumps, and let's say you want to paste it somewhere. The quick long fox jumps over the lazy dog who jumps. There's two way. There's two way you can paste a word. One way is the cursor. You tap on the cursor. The word paste appears and you tap on it and the word appears the second one is if <clears throat> the second one only works if it's at the end of a sentence let's say here and you would like to paste something in you long hold there the word paste appears and then you can paste 
also you can see that if you tap and hold there is no traditional prompt that you can choose from of what you want to do the only thing you can see here is paste so what if you want to change the keyboard or you want to use another language another IME so the way the only way is to go all out go to settings you need to enable your keyboard first and then you will see something here as you can see I have a few keyboards installed I will enable swipe alright now when you return to a, f a text field where you can input text you have something new appear which is this keyboard icon sorry which is this keyboard icon up in the notifications area so if you like to change the keyboard instead of the gingerbread style tap and hold now you straight away swipe down and select input method from here in this case I'll choose swipe change it back same thing like so now one thing I would like to highlight here is the difference in UI when the phone goes into a different orientation let's say this is the portrait orientation I'll repeat when you long hold a word the selection comes out you get to have this selection icons but if you do the same in landscape as you can see the new animation now if you do the same thing here the extra icon selection options up here doesn't appear and it only lets you paste and replace now another function I would like to highlight here is the drag and drop let's say you want to move this word the, the quick brown fox jumps you want to make make it to the quick brown jumps fox or anywhere other you long hold and I'm not sure if you are able to see but there's something underneath my finger this is this is a bit stupid for Google to make it like this but then you can place this anywhere you want I say this is stupid because you can't really see where you can place the selected word there's no cursor so let's say the, just after the and as you can see the accuracy is not very good now the thing about this feature as well is that it like okay <clears throat> this drag and drop as you can see the word jumps is deleted and replaced in another place right, right let me just repair this jumps okay now again in landscape mode it works differently let's say okay the same word jumps and I drag it same thing appears but this time if I were to drop it somewhere around here okay as you can see okay the sentence is the sentence was the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog the word fox has been deleted for some reason and the word jumps remains there so this is to say <clears throat> so it's obviously work in progress the whole Android keyboard with respect to landscape and portrait orientation and the way they work I don't know why they work differently but they do work differently in this case this kind of highlights <clears throat>
the development of the Android 4.0 keyboard at this stage and the demonstration that, that I've shown shows that there exists some form of disunity across across different orientation in the whole UI as far as text input is concerned but then there are <clears throat> there have been improvements and the keyboard works extremely well better than the gingerbread one as far as accuracy is concerned and yeah that's pretty much it so I'm not sure if I've covered everything Google has done to this new keyboard but if you think that I've left off something or you have questions please post them in, your, in the comments below and thanks for watching goodbye